Today we're going to dive into the world of circles. So let's go ahead and get started by figuring out where the equation of a circle even comes from. So we have a picture of a circle here on our screen and we notice that our center is right here and then this is a point that is on the outside or edge of the circle if you want to call it an edge, okay? Um, we're going to enable this hk because we don't really know the coordinates and then we'll label this as x and y. Now from the center to the edge, that's called your radius, right? Now if we need to find the distance from hk to xy, we would have to think about using the distance formula. I don't know if you remember that or not, so I'm going to write it down. The distance formula is x sub 2 minus x sub 1 quantity squared plus y sub 2 minus y sub 1 quantity squared. So what we're going to need to do is label our two points as x1, y1 and x2, y2. So here I'm going to label this x sub 1, y sub 1 and I'll label this as x sub 2, y sub 2. Now our distance is from here to here, correct? Well that distance here is called a radius. So our distance is actually a radius. We're going to substitute all these values in. So instead of using d, we're going to call it r. And then we're going to have the square root. And instead of using x sub 2, we'll call it x. Bring down the minus. x sub 1 is h in our picture, quantity squared plus. y sub 2 in our picture is y. And y sub 1 in our picture is k, quantity squared. Now, this right here is fine, but we don't really use this as the equation of our circle. Um, let's get rid of this square root. How do you undo, what is the inverse of a square root? You would square both sides. So if I square both sides like this, what happens is we'll have r squared here, but then this square and this square root are going to cancel out. So we'll have x minus h quantity squared plus y minus k quantity squared. This right here, my friends, is the equation of a circle. Now let's talk about it a little bit. hk is our what? What would you call hk? This is our what of our circle? Center. And then r stands for the what? We talked about it. The radius. One thing that students have to be careful of, notice that there are subtraction signs in here. So it's always the opposite of h, the opposite of k. And notice that it's not just r that's here, it's r squared, okay? Um, later on when we graph, I would like you to also include the vertices so we can graph it correctly. And I'll talk about that a little bit later. We won't talk about that right now. So let's move down here. I'm actually going to start with number 2, okay? On number 2, it says find the center and find the radius of each circle from the given equation. So if we write down the equation of a circle, x minus h squared plus y minus k squared equals r squared, it should be pretty easy to figure out what our h and k is. So if the center is h comma k, what is h in our picture? It's not negative 3, it's just 3, okay? What I used to remember in school is it's the opposite of what's in here. So if negative 3 is here, then my h is 3. And it's because of the negative in the formula. So 3 comma, what's y? Well, I don't see a number there. And if you don't see a number there, then your k is just going to be a 0. So your center is 3 comma 0. Your radius, notice that this is radius squared. So if the radius squared is 9, what's your radius going to be then? What's the square root of 9? 3. So right there, there's your center, there's your radius. Let's talk about number 3. Number 3 can be a little trickier. So we have x minus h squared plus y minus k squared equals r squared. So if we look at h and k for our center here, and I'll write h, k here, what is our h? Remember, it's the opposite of what you would think. So if that's positive 4, our h is negative 4 because of the negative in the general equation. And what's our k? It's 1. Now let's talk about radius. Our radius squared here is 12. So to undo a square, we're going to have to take the square root. So the radius would then be square root 12. Now I know when we take the square root, we usually put plus or minus. But since this is a distance, we'll only use the positive value. Now we can't leave 12 like that. If we break up 12, it'll be 2 times 2 times 3. For every pair, 1 comes out. So this will be 2 root 3 for your radius, just like that. 
What I would like you to do is do number one on your own. So do number one for class, bring it in, and we will go over it then. So go ahead and complete number one before you get to class. Let's move down here. Write the standard form of the equation of the circle whose center and radius are given. I'm going to look at number five first. This is going backwards from what you already have done, and this is the more difficult of the two problems. So we know this is h, we know this is k, and we know this is r. So we know our equation is x minus h quantity squared plus y minus k quantity squared equals r squared. Let's substitute in the values we know. So we have x minus negative 2 quantity squared plus y minus negative 7 quantity squared equals the square root of 10 quantity squared. Let's clean this up a little bit because right now it's looking kind of messy. So these two negatives make a positive, so this would be x plus 2 quantity squared. And those two negatives make a positive, so y plus 7 quantity squared. What does a square root and a square do to each other? Boom, boom, they're inverses. So this is just going to be 10, okay? There's the equation of our circle. What I would like you to do is do number 4 and bring number 4 to class with you, and we'll talk about that then. Now let's go ahead and go back here and let's talk about some graphing problems. It says graph the circle, state the center, the radius, and the vertices. Okay, so first things first, this looks crazy, right? It's not the equation of a circle. The equation of a circle is x minus h quantity squared plus y minus k quantity squared equals r squared. So if we want it to look like that, what are we going to have to do here? Well, let's add x minus 1 quantity squared to both sides. Now when you do that, you don't have like terms over here. So on the left hand side, wait a minute, I messed something up here. So be very careful with this part. I'm adding x minus 1. So let's go ahead and let's fix that and put x minus 1. All right, be very careful. Don't be like me. So over here on the left hand side, you have x minus 1 quantity squared plus y plus 3 quantity squared equals, this is gone, it equals 4. What's our center? Our center here is going to be 1 comma negative 3. What's our radius? Well, 4 is what r squared is, and you just want r. So you want the square root of 4, which is 2. Okay, so now we can go ahead and plot our center. So 1, negative 3. And I'll talk to you about what a vertice is. Um, there are four different vertices on here because your radius is 2. I would like you to plot the four dots to make your circle nice and neat. So we're going to go up 2 and plot a dot. That's a vertice, which is at 1, negative 1. I would like you to go down 2 and plot a dot. That's another vertice, which is 1, negative 5. I would like you to go right and plot a dot. So that's another vertice, which is 3, negative 3. And I would like you to go left and plot a dot. That's another vertice, which is negative 1, negative 3. So now that you have those vertices there, we can connect them, and you have a nice, pretty circle. Okay? So the center, the radius, the four vertices, and a beautiful picture of your circle. Let's talk about number 7. Not looking like the equation of a circle, right? What do you think we got to do to both sides? Divide by 7. So if we divide every single thing here by 7, we'll end up getting x squared plus y squared equals, what is that? 49. And what I would like you to do is tell me your center, tell me your radius, and give the four vertices and graph the circle. This circle is easier to graph than the last one I did, so hopefully this one won't be too tough for you. So go ahead and finish number 7 up for class. And last but not least, let's talk about number 8. Negative 2, 5 is a point on a circle centered at the origin. Write the equation of the circle. So we said we have a center at the origin, so that's 0, 0. And then negative 2, 5 is going to be on the circle. So we've got some kind of circle that looks something like that, right? But we don't know the radius either. Hmm. This sounds like kind of what we did when we derived the equation at the beginning of our notes way up here. Very similar looking. Look at that picture. Look at that picture. So let's go ahead and let's write down the equation of a circle first. So x minus h quantity squared plus y minus k quantity squared equals r squared. 
let's think about what do we know? Well, we know this is H and K because that is our center. And then this is a random point on the circle. So we'll just call this X and Y. And we don't know the radius. We're going to have to figure that out using the numbers that they've given us. So let's go ahead and substitute in. So this is negative 2 minus 0 squared plus 5 minus 0 squared equals R squared. Well, negative 2 minus 0 is negative 2, and 5 minus 0 is 5. And then when we square negative 2, we get 4, and when we square the 5, we get 25. So R squared is 29. Now, don't be tempted to take the square root. You don't need to. I didn't ask you what is the radius, right? You just want the equation of a circle. And if we look at the equation of a circle, our radius is already squared. So let's just jump right to the equation here. x minus 0 squared, because that's our center, y minus 0 squared equals 29, because 29 is our r squared. We're substituting in. Now, if you want to look even smarter than you already are, I know that that can't be possible, but if you want to look even smarter than you already are, you will go ahead and leave those zeros out, and that's how you would write your equation. Okay, this concludes our fun ride with circles. Go ahead and finish up those problems I asked you to finish for class, and we will talk to you then. Good night.